Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney cannot catch a break this week. Uh, no. They can't. Uh, yeah, now parents, a parents group, parents TV council slamming Disney Plus for allowing the Netflix Marvel shows on their service. To be fair though, these parents groups usually slam everything. Oh yeah. yeah. So, I mean... The million moms. Are there actually a million moms or is that I don't false know. advertising? I, I don't know. But, you know, because that was Pop-Tarts. I remember they're going for Pop-Tarts. Well, now another parent group's mad because they're putting this stuff on, on Disney Plus. destroys your brand. Again, Iger was against them putting this kind of content on there. Chapek has been for it because they wanted to expand Disney Plus. They're putting parental controls in place with this addition. So kids cannot just go watch this. Yeah, um, and eventually what's going to happen is it, it's going to be that, uh, you know, Disney Plus is a Netflix competitor and they're going to have content similar to Netflix. Wow, we might even get a Disney-fied version of Cuties. Uh, no, that's not. Uh, but, you know, maybe they can call it, maybe they can bring back the Touchstone brand and they can call it like Disney Touch. And that, yeah. can, be, that can be the name of their adult service. But yeah, they're bringing the, bringing the Marvel shows back. They're actually going to do a season four of Daredevil, which could be a soft reboot. Who the hell knows? But yeah, that's what they were. Chai Cox was saying. I think it's gonna be a soft reboot. Yeah, for the MCU connection. It's, it's not gonna be as good. I don't think it's. Well, if it's Disney, it might not be. But no. I hope it is because I love Daredevil, and I'm like, I want more Daredevil. I would want more Defenders, but I don't think we're gonna get that because Punisher and Iron Fist are problematic. Yeah. Well, we'll probably just bring Daredevil and Defenders back. Maybe Jessica Jones and. But Jessica you know. Jones are probably yeah, that yeah, and Luke Cage. They're they're fine with those. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we're going to talk about this because, again, Disney can't catch a break this week. Uh, they had a lot of their employees and, and uh, media outlets calling them out over the Florida bill and uh, well, severe during, backlash for that. During the investor call, which I didn't even know that was going on and forgot Who to watch cares? it because we were busy. Um, he apparently called, you know, uh, said he was against it in the investor call. Like, after the fact, he's trying to, it's damage control now, which they're notorious for. And in like a couple of weeks and everybody forgets about it, they'll step over it and keep going. Because the couple weeks before that, it was the Star Cruiser being a disaster. And then suddenly it filled up for no reason. And now they'll step over this next one. And two weeks later, it'll be something else. Yeah, yeah. So it, it never ends uh, when you're one of the biggest entertainment companies on the it's planet. okay. We're here to document all of it. Anyway, before we get into this any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 260,000 subs thank Yay. you for the support uh we do talk a lot about disney having we worked do. in and around the company for a number of years geeky runs pirates and mm -hmm. which you can go out and find lots of lots of articles about disney and disney plus i'm a lot more tame over there though yeah yeah we're salty, salty I, save, I save my spice more for this one so anyway, we've talked about how Daredevil is going to be released on Disney Plus with parental controls. And this mm -hmm. has been talked about for about a year now that they were going to bring adult shows to Disney Plus. They I, have to. to I'm continue. sure this will be the beginning of it. And then they'll start getting other things on there now that they have parental controls in place. They're just using this as a reason. Yeah, they got that new series in development called Getting Goofy. Do you want to <laughs> know what that's about? What is it about? Getting Goofy. He's making all this up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, See, don't don't say that if you're not going to follow through. No, I, I I didn't have a punchline for that. Just I thought I thought the title of the show would be funny enough, and then I didn't really think it through. Yeah. Anyway, just like a lot of things. In or our oops, life. I goofed. Oops, I goofed. <laughs> it's like the new. It's like the the new. Um, you are the father. Oops, I goofed. It's the parental, parental test. They go and see oh, like, no. If you're like the father. Oopsie doopsie. Oops, you goofed. You Gorsh. are the father. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, so they're bringing adult shows to Disney Plus, parental controls. I don't personally see a problem with that as long as there are parental controls. Right. I knew it was just a matter of time. We were joking about this before and even like we're going to they're going to start doing the charge more. They're going to have adult content, you know, and everything else. And here it comes. Triple X Mickey. I don't think I would go that far. Parents, Television and Media Council. I've never heard of these people. PTC. PTC is speaking out against Disney ahead of the March 16th edition of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Punisher, and The Defenders. All these series are significantly more violent yeah, and adult they and have themed. sex and everything in them. They have Nookie. Uh, the PTC warned Disney that streaming these series would destroy your brand. 
Well, that's what Iger was worried about. He said he didn't feel that it should be they sh that stuff like for Hulu. It shouldn't be um, on Disney Plus because of the brand and the recognition for that brand as being family friendly. But Chapek has spent the last two years in investor calls going on about how half their audience are adults without children. So they wait. The reason they kept bringing that up, it was it was enough that I was like, why would you keep bringing that up unless you're gonna go somewhere with that? And here we have it. Yeah, how far are they going to go? Oops, I goofed. Oops, I goofed. Uh, for more than 98 years, the Walt Disney Company has been synonymous with the words family-friendly. And I can think of no other corporation in American history that has been built more squarely on the backs and on the wallets. <laughs> you're, not on the wallets be, you're allowed to be on your back. But Disney parents, likes the wallets. Parents and families. <laughs> Tim Winter, president of Parents Television and Media Council, said in a statement, the company's eponymous platform, Disney Plus, logically marketed itself as family friendly. Mm -hmm. And parents have placed their trust in Disney to deliver just that, except for those those problematic old cartoons like Dumbo and Peter Pan. And right, right. You all know, the other ones we have Song to of the ban. South. You don't Song have to have South. it all. Uh, they, even, they even banned some, ep or put parental, uh, like, you know, content warnings on Muppets episode. I just, I. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the wording on the backs. On the backs. On the backs. <laughs> well, we got to make sure that that uh, all the wine moms are on their backs so we have, have more kids to watch uh, Disney right. Plus content. Uh, Winter continued, it seems wildly off-brand for Disney Plus to add TV, MA, and R-rated programming to this platform. It is a bit weird. We it's think a bit it's weird. weird, too. Can we actually see Daryl Hannah's ass now? Oh yeah, they went so far as to make it look like she's wearing a grass hair, a, 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 a yes. grass ass skirt. Yeah, and it looks like PS2 graphics. It's like, awful it's because awful. they didn't want you know bad stuff on the family platform. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little weird that they're doing <laughs> this. Wait, what now? Uh, this is to increase subscription revenue. What comes next? Adding live strip tease performances in Fantasyland <laughs> at Disney World. Okay, that's a little bit much. <laughs> But they covered up Jessica Rabbit. That's right. Well, in the ride. But in I just think, I mean, come, okay, Winter. <laughs> the, it, you know, you're really taking it a little too far there. I mean, I agree with you. It does seem off brand. It is really weird. They're giving parental controls, but we're like, we were even like, why not just put it on Hulu? It's really strange to put it on Disney Plus. It's, uh, yeah. But it's not. They're not going to, come on, live strip tease performances in Fantasyland. Are you serious? Oh, people would pay for that, though. I see someone needs to spank this person, but that that that's a too adult for them. So, spank a princess using the lightning lane. You can you can upcharge. <laughs> lightning lane. You can just you know. That's one of those hundred dollar upcharges. Yeah, hundred for a hundred bucks. Front of the line. Front of the line access for a hundred bucks. Uh, dad can slap the ass of a princess <laughs> while the kids get their. Picture taken with another princess. Well, sadly, it, 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 there are a lot of stories. These poor actresses that play the parts of uh, face characters like princesses that these men have come up and have groped them and, and put the hands in places inappropriately and make comments to them. And they usually end up getting, you know, escorted out. Yeah, afterwards. don't don't fondle Cinderella. And then there's that girl that went up to, to Gaston and was like touching his boobs in front of children. And he's like, ow. And I everybody was applauding him. It's like, yeah, what the hell was you thinking yeah that's not cool no anyway this got dark yeah well it's this is truth this is the truth this isn't like the strip tease this is not going to happen disney plus is updating its parental control settings on march 16th in tandem with these tvma series launching on right. the platform uh the ptc applauded disney plus for improving their parental controls but the group said the mere presence of ma and r-rated content violates the trust of families <laughs> May turn them off entirely. You know what's funny? Or turn them on. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? These parents are probably the ones that let their kids sit in front of YouTube or whatever or video games or, and, and then go off and do whatever they're going to do. And their kids are watching God knows what on, on the Internet. It's the same type of parents. And if they have any other services that they're using, like Netflix or Hulu or any other ones, you do know that they have kids shows and adult shows on there. They're just targeting Disney because they have a name, Disney. Yeah. Where I don't disagree that it's weird they're putting MA content on Disney and not the Hulu brand. And that's true. And we thought it was weird, too. I don't think it's, like, worthy of the outrage because they're making sure they do it with parental controls in place. 
There is no need for Disney Plus to compete with the explicit content on other streaming platforms. They added, Disney is already a competitive advantage with the streaming platform that is the safest one out there for families. It's for its foray into TVMA rated fare will forever tarnish its family friendly crown. The move to Disney Plus means Daredevil and all the other Netflix series will be available to stream alongside WandaVision, Loki, etc. Yes, and um, those ones aren't for children either. No. I mean, they're not rated MA, but they're not for children either. I don't think that some of those shows are okay for kids to watch. No, they're definitely PG 13. Definitely. Right. Uh, the parents. Television and Media Council is an organization that monitors and restores responsibility and decency to the entertainment industry in answer to America's demand for positive, family-oriented television programming. Uh, the PTC is previously behind campaigns to get Netflix to cancel 13 Reasons Why and HBO to cancel Euphoria. Yeah, neither one of which worked. The Paris no. Television and Media Council, also known as the Karens, the Karens. <laughs> they don't want you to watch this. Um, yeah, none of their other things have, have worked out either. It's easy. Monitor your kids. Just, yeah, watch what your kids are I mean, are I get what you're saying. You're, like, thinking Disney synonymous with family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they've already said that their data shows that half the subscribers don't have kids. So I, I get why they're doing it. I, don't, I, I think it's weird, but I get why. But they're doing it responsibly by adding the parental controls. If they hadn't added the parental controls, you would I would have totally agreed with you. But they made sure they took care of that issue. Yeah, so do we finally get Song of the South on Disney+. No. Plus? But you get to watch Punisher, and there's a lot of blood in that, and you get to watch some of the sex scenes and like Jessica Jones and things like that. I do. Do I have your permission? Well, you've already seen them. Well, you never watched Jessica I Jones. I never watched Jessica Jones. I watched so. Jessica Jones. You didn't watch it. Okay. I, I watched them. Was it good? Jessica Jones? The sex scenes. I don't... I, they were okay. I don't remember. I mostly remember <laughs> Jessica Jones because it, it was good, yeah. psychologically, you know, like it was pretty dark, and it was really good though, but very dark. Anyway, uh, there's going to be a, a Daredevil season four. I don't have, I, I'm going to be honest, I would like to see more Daredevil, but I think Jeff Loeb's out of the picture. And now. Disney Daredevil's. Disney's concerning. Daredevil. Yeah, Disney's Daredevil. But I Daredevil. really, really love Daredevil. And I like Charlie Cox quite a bit. So I would love to see more Cox with parental controls, of course. Of course. Of course. It had to be. That was a joke that had to be done with the Karens. Yeah, maybe they'll bring Ben Affleck back. No, I don't They'll want to do watch. Multiverse. No. multiverse. Oh my god, don't they could do it. multiverse daredevils. No, I don't want Ben Affleck like anywhere near Daredevil. The again. men without fear. They could do anyway. The man without talent. Oh, he's not that. He's bad. not bad at. He's not bad at. I thought. He was a good Batman. Yeah, he was okay. Yeah, he was sure. a goodish Batman. Sure. Um, I'll stay. I'll, I, st I stand by what I said. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this one yep. up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.